I mean, seeing all you guys out there makes me think that Philly rocks. <laughs> I mean, you, you guys have so much class. This is really great to see. You guys deserve Killer Clowns. I just have one warning. Just remember, it's just a movie. Welcome to Scrapple TV. Yeah, I'm Charlie Kyoto. Uh, Edward, hey there. And I'm Stephen And I'm Stephen Kyoto. How you guys doing? Are you surprised that so many 10, 12, 14 year old kids today really like this film? Oh, uh, well, yes, yes. We are really surprised that we have such a young audience. But it's a testament to the people who did see it in the 80s. They loved it in the 80s. Then they grew up, got married, had children, and then shared the movie with their kids. And then those kids grew up, got married, and shared it with their children. So we've got like three generations of people who, who kind of like the film. And I think it's showing a trend, especially with like the younger audience, because they grew up on movies that have all CG monsters and creatures in it. And now they're discovering movies that have practical effects and stop motion. So this technique is the new thing. So it's just, it's kind of cool. It stands out. Yeah. yeah, I think it's really a big kick for us. I mean, again, we just made a film that we, we wanted to make a film that we liked. And, and we did that. And it's really a big kick to see that so many people like it. Uh, and and that, that's, as artists, that's what it's all about. So we're really happy. I like to think that the stuff we were doing real, what was real, and, and the audience recognized it. They could feel that it was real in real light. People could touch it and people could be killed by it. I think that's it exactly. I think there's a, uh, the audience can sense that it's a physical, tangible reality. You know, no matter how real the CG looks, it's always fake. And no matter how fake the rubber monsters look, they're real. And I think the audience can catch on. Yeah, well, Killer Clowns is what Charlie said. We were responsible for every aspect of the production, so we kept busy. And it was fun, because it was our creation. Uh, uh, Team America was really the hardest job I've ever worked on. Hey, terrorist! Terrorize this! Uh, I think we realized why you don't see a lot of marionette movies being made. They're impossible. The damn things don't do anything. So it was really, really tough to do. But rewarding because of the, the Matt and Trey are just really cool guys and we had a lot of fun doing it, but it was a lot of work. Basically, the, the concept of Critters was that when they had their mouths closed, that they're supposed to be smiling and cute that you wanted to pet them. Um, it's when they open their mouth that they get real nasty. Our stories we're underneath there, manipulating puppets. The rattlesnakes are coming. They don't tell us that everyone takes a break for lunch and we're waiting for them to do the next take. Then they tell us, we want to set the, the uh, critter puppets on fire. Can we do that? Well, why don't we wait until we film the rest of the movie before you destroy the, the $10,000 hero puppets. We got great stories of, of all kinds of stuff. The hero ball going off the cliff down into the valley. You know, the giant critter ball. Uh, you don't have those stories with CG. CG has to be done very expensive for it to be great. They spend a lot of money on Pacific Rim. When you don't spend the money, it's, it's as bad as the worst, you know, practical effects movie. And I'm gonna kick your... Oh, yeah, there really is room for both. In fact, we go along with the hybrid technique where you build the things in reality, you build a physical puppet, and then you augment it through digital uh, compositing. Uh, a lot of times we'll make some uh, animatronic heads and we don't put eye blinks in it because it might cost too much, it might take too much time, so then we'll make a blink via uh, some post-compositing techniques. So the idea is, I'm not, we're not down on uh, computer technology, it's just that it's not the answer to everything. And really a mixed bag of tricks is really the best way to get a creature to come alive. What are you going to do? Knock my block off? <laughs> You know, the only thing uh, tougher than making your first movie is making your second movie. Uh, but we know we're, we're, really, we're really close to doing something with it again. Um, we've kind of shifted from, from motion picture a little to uh, possibly a better vehicle in television, something that gives us a chance to, uh, you know, do a longer story arc, you know, so something along the lines of The Walking Dead. 
You know, we had a stupid idea, killer clowns from outer space. We did it. And 25 years ago, uh, 25 years later, we're still here. Before we die, before we retire, we make a commitment that we will do something with killer clowns. <laughs>